Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am back here with a new video, currently on vacation in Southeast Asia, specifically in Thailand. I thought why not film a video and show you guys what I packed for my skincare, my hair care, and body care. If you guys want to find out what I packed in Southeast Asia, please keep on watching. So to those who haven't been in Southeast Asia, the weather can be at the lowest at 14 to 16 degrees Celsius at night and then up to 30 degrees Celsius in the daytime So it's super hot for my and daily routine. I love to keep things very light very uh, Bare because it's super hot and I'm really really oily So if I have a full face of makeup on and super oily in the in the middle of the day I just want to wash my face. So everything nice and lightweight is the way to go I want to show you guys that I have in this little baggie is my makeup remover which is the Garnier Skin Active uh, micellar water. I do use waterproof mascara. I use I put a couple drops onto my cotton pad and gently swipe off my mascara or any concealer as well. I love this because it's super small and I'm not always wearing mascara and this is one of the only reasons why I use um use this one is because one it removes waterproof makeup and it's very gentle. If there are days that I'm wearing my CC cream, BB creams, maybe foundation because of a special event I'll go in with the Kirkland makeup remover wipes these are not the best option but because I'm traveling this is the easiest thing to use I would bring my oil cleanser and do a whole double cleanse but sometimes it just um, adds extra weight in my luggage um, I would like to buy balms but I have so many different ones at home already I don't want to buy too many. cleansers I do have oily skin so I prefer something very nice and foamy um, I did leave my big size cleanser at home um, at my grandma's house in Vietnam so uh, currently I squeeze all my cleansers into these little travel size tubes I think this holds about a teaspoon of product in here um, and this would last me about a week like this much cleanser can last me about a week and it's because I use the Amore Pacific treatment cleansing foam and a little goes a long way so I love this for day and night it foams up very very beautifully and leaves my skin very very clean and I find it to help remove my residue from my makeup removal as well for toners I have two different ones when I feel like my skin is breaking out or I have a lot of little teeny breakouts on my skin or maybe cystic acne I do use the Zeo skin health um, acne treatment pads. These are one of my favorite ones for acne, but using this it literally Removes the pimple the next day and my skin is clear. It's smooth. It does have about 2% salicylic acid Other than that I would go in with my Ole Hendrickson one and this one is the bouncing force oil control toner with my cotton pad Sometimes I'll use this at night because it's more strong this one in the daytime the only thing about this one is that I spilled about half of it from traveling so I wouldn't say this is the best product to travel with because it does spill. I should have covered this with a saran wrap and then put this on top but I just got lazy and look what happened. So if you are traveling with this product or anything that has this type of packaging, please make sure to double wrap it by put, sealing this first and screwing it on to not waste any more product. These are the two toners that I use. This one is more stronger, this is more mild, and this also helps with oil control and my breakouts as well. So I love these two. So I didn't bring a serum with me um, just because I find my skin to be quite heavy already, especially in this humid and hot weather. Um, I just cleanse, tone, and I go in straight with a moisturizer, and this is the Eminence Organic. I use the Rose Hip Whip Moisturizer. The packaging itself is fine when I travel with it. Um, no spills, no issue, it's great, a little goes a long way as well and it can last me up to 3 to 5 months depending how much I use. But also, I have my eye cream and this is the Eminence Organics Neroli Age Protective Eye Serum. It's an eye serum, again, I do get oily eyelids so I like something nice and lightweight and this is great. Um, in terms of traveling, I did notice this popping out of, some product popping out of the sides when I was traveling. Other than that, it's fine, it's durable, just don't drop it on the ground, you'll be fine. Um, but I love this one because it's super lightweight, especially around the skin, fast absorbing, and it's anti-aging. So I did forget an SPF at my uncle's house in Vietnam, um, but luckily I brought <laughs> little sample packets of the Eminence Lilikoi Mineral Defense Moisturizer. This is the SPF 33. Um, I do use these as well on my skin on top of my moisturizer for sun protection. I also have this Super Goop Defense Refreshing 
setting mist and this has an SPF of 50. This is a pretty cool concept. Nothing has happened with traveling, nothing has spilled. So this is pretty cool. I really like the concept of this. And you can also use this to set your makeup as well. And it's not greasy, so um, I do like this. Um, I bought this in the US Sephora. They don't have this in Canada Sephora. So if you are looking for this, make sure you check out the, um, the US Sephora. So yeah, definitely try this in out. In terms of makeup, so like I said, makeup, I love to keep it nice and lightweight. Uh, there are a couple things that I brought. Let's start with our face base first. Um, I did bring the Urban Decay Naked Skin. Again, this is only available in the US as well because this has a broad spectrum of SPF 20. I like this because I apply it like a moisturizer. It's super fast absorbing. Um, you do get some sun protection, light coverage. So on days that I feel like a lot of redness, I would apply this on top of my moisturizer. I also brought my more Pacific CC cushion and this has an SPF of 50 plus. Um, I like it because it does have skincare benefits in here. Oh, that looks kind of gross. It does have your skincare benefits in here, has very nice coverage. Uh, I do bring this around with me to touch up throughout the day, very lightweight, but it's not mattifying. That's the only thing. It's really dewy, um, but I don't mind it as long as I get that sun protection and it has that very easy um, applicator to apply into the skin instead of carrying this around and just, you know, putting on my hands. So we have the base there. Um, I also brought some concealers and my favorite ones I bring for days that I don't like having that makeup makeup look. Um, it's the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. These are my favorite. I use two different colors. Uh, I bought the Creme Brulee for my under eyes and I also have the Custard for any like, you know, redness or um, pimples. I love these two. These are my go to's especially when I'm not wearing any makeup I just put this under my eye around my mouth my nose fresh and new so leave the love these love these for oily skin um, they do finish to a matte finish so um, if you're looking for something that's fast lightweight easy to carry around these are my favorite ones so to I took off my lashes as you can see I did have lashes in my previous videos but because I wanted to take it off um, I had to start using my eyelash curler and my <laughs> Uh, mascara and I'm currently using the Lash Paradise from L'Oreal and these are the Shuamura uh, mascara um, curling wands I guess oh my god no that's hair curler these are the lash curlers that I use with this and I love this because one this is very waterproof um, buildable voluminous is my favorite one my go-to pretty expensive for a drugstore but it gives me the result that I'm looking for and I'd rather pay ten dollars Canadian versus $40 um, Canadian for a mascara. Now for body care, <laughs> I feel like a hippie doing this, but I am a big body, um, body moisturizer person. I love lathering myself in oil with body butters, but because they, because I use so much in, you know, in a short period of time, it doesn't make it doesn't make sense to carry like a one ounce of body lotion on a trip so instead i went to lush and i bought these body butter thingies oh my god they're kind of wet because i just took a shower this morning but i bought these oh my god they smell so good um but they literally feel like you're rubbing chocolate on your body once you step out you don't need to moisturize your body because the leftover shea of butter just leaves a beautiful thin film on your skin and it comes in a solid bar so easy to travel with easy to use i highly recommend it and it smells really nice too so i really like that for moisturizing my body versus a jug of body lotion and also a bottle of body oil so it just makes sense to carry this to travel, especially if you're going for a long period of In time. In terms of sun protection for my body, I've been using the Vichy um, Ideal, Soleil, Soleil. <laughs> Ideal Soleil SPF 60 UVA and UVB Broad Spectrum Sport. So I chose Sport because it's lightweight and fast absorbing. It's an ultra light refreshing lotion that you can use on your face and your body. So I love this. I used this when I was in Bali as well. Uh, it doesn't give you that sticky feeling. It's very smooth, fast absorbing. This is my favorite for Southeast Asia and you do get that sun protection. And, and going back to those bars, I went to Lush and I purchased a shampoo and a conditioner and it was my first time using this. I have to say I really like these for traveling and I really recommend these because 
it's so easy to use and my, my hair does feel super soft super clean it lathers beautifully and this is a conditioner and basically you just get make sure the water is warm enough and then you just kind of like doo -doo 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 -doo. I'm glad I purchased this and this is per perfect for um, any travel um, anyone that's a traveler that wants to you know bring a shampoo a conditioner body products these are your go-to products they are waste free as well so I love the fact that I can just put it in here it's kind of gross looking but um, it smells nice too and really easy to use highly recommend face body hair all in this little sandwich container I go in with my Lanza healing strength um, neem plant silk serum so this is the only oil oily serum product that I brought for my hair because I'm in the Sun a lot I want to make sure my hair is protected from the UVs it's hydrated it's sealed so once I get out of the shower I do one pump of this it just makes my hair super soft and um, easy to use and it's not oily it just really really silky so I really like this part Big thing about Southeast Asia that I really hate is the mosquitoes I brought a couple things with me um, to help wear off mosquitoes and help to heal any of my mosquito bites I have this and it's the off family care it smells so horrible but you know it works it finishes to a powder finish so you don't have the sticky feeling so I mean if it works why not I've been using this um, but I also bought the Thai version mosquito repellent and this is about 69 baht I'm not sure how much that is maybe like three or four dollars so I bought a bottle of this um, and the scent of it, I don't smell a lot of Cintronella, which is what it usually is, but these two kind of smell really, really similar. I'd rather spray this one than this one, um, but they both work well. These are the products that I use to repel against mosquitoes. I carry this in my backpack every day, spray, spray, spray. This one, I just kind of, I just have. It, it's an aerosol, so I feel like it just goes in the air and I kind of inhale it and it sucks, so... I have this and this. You can buy this in any of the Thai markets. It's always there. It's available. To help heal my mosquito bites, I have this Thai green herb oil. And it smells really, really strong, but it has ginseng root, aroma oil, um, contains a variety of essential oils, but I definitely smell some peppermint in here. Oh, a lot of peppermint. Really, really nice. Um, ginseng root, herbs really great for mosquito bites uh, and also stress headaches nausea uh, it just has that cooling effect on the mosquito bites that makes it feel so good you can buy this in the Thailand market as well um, I looked online and it looks like a lot of places sell online like eBay um, I don't know if those are trustworthy websites but um, this is what it looks like really really good so if you're ever in Thailand looking for a product to repel against mosquitoes this is a really good one Oh, I would compare this to the peppermint halo from Sage. So it's kind of similar, but this is like the peppermint halo on steroids. And you can see the actual ginseng in here that's being used. Before bedtime, if I do have that huge mosquito bite, I do go in with the Eminence Organics of Rosehip and Lemongrass Repair Balm. Um, this has some great properties and benefits like the rosemary to help soothe any inflammation um, I use this during the day to relieve the itchiness and use this at night to help calm the inflammation down and it reduces the size of my mosquito bite or bug bite by like 70% One so more thing I forgot and is it is of course my dry shampoo so I wash my hair every other day and on the days I don't wash it I just do a bit of you know cover sprays of my Batiste dry shampoo this is the floral and flirty blush scent um, I like this one because I used the original one for so long I kind of got sick of the smell so I just use this to refresh my hair um, but usually I shower like almost every day just because it's so gross out here and I'm sweating and I have you know mosquito repellent and SPF for my body so I make sure I wash that all off but if I'm not washing my hair I do go in with this other than that it's my shampoo and conditioner I love this so everyone has to get these solid bars they're so good thank you so much for watching my video I hope you found this video really really helpful and take some of my recommendations and use it in your own travels especially bringing these solid bars these are so awesome um, if you have any questions about the products that I bought please leave a comment below other than that I will see you guys next time on my next video bye